Hey everyone, welcome to this week's New Order webinar. Our webinar this week is called A View Through the Buyer's Eyes, and it will walk you through the buyer side of New Order. Today, you'll gain an understanding of what your buyers see, how they may find your brand on New Order, and how you can manipulate what your buyers see through special customization. Topics that will be covered today are the buyer's product details, the buyer's inventory visibility settings, the Buyer's Orders tab, New Orders Discover New Brands Marketplace, and some of our frequently asked buyer questions. So the first piece I'm going to start with here today is the buyer's product detail. Essentially, buyers have a very similar experience to brand users. However, they have more limitations on what they can see and do. So first, within the All Products Gallery, you can limit the products that buyers see. By implementing our customer group functionality, you can restrict a product from a retailer's view. Buyers will not be, a, be allowed to place an order for this item, and they will not see the product when logging in. However, as a brand user, you'll still see this item as available. Within the All Products Gallery, you can also click on an item and the product details panel will appear on the right hand side here. The product details are divided into sections and these sections can vary for each buyer depending on your brand's preferences. So first you'll notice here availability. These ship dates and order closing dates will vary based on how your brand has this information set up. You'll also see available sizes for these products. And if stock levels have been published by your brand, the buyer will see the quantity available by size. At the bottom here, you'll also notice some general information within the product details. So we've got items like sound number and color, and we can adjust the permissions of this information. So we can make these product details visible to only reps and not buyers, or some of this information only visible to buyers and not to your rep. You'll also notice that we've got wholesale and MSRP listed here up at the top. And this, these prices will often change by buyer. New order has the ability to maintain multiple currencies within a portal, and you can assign your buyers to specific currencies. You can also maintain multiple prices per product, and assign buyers to a specific price as well. So all of the information here in this panel is customizable by your brand and will affect what your buyers see. So whether it's adding or hiding specific information or assigning specific prices or currencies to your buyers. Next, we'll review the buyer's inventory visibility settings. So there are a ton of settings surrounding inventory that your brand can update at any time within the admin section of New Order. By default, buyers will not have access and cannot see inventory unless they have overordered. So if a buyer tries to submit an order with more units of a product than are available, they'll be shown how many units are available and asked to correct the error. However, within admin inventory settings, you do have the option to enable buyers to see inventory on all sizes of products. So once inventory is enabled, this is from a buyer's perspective, they'll see inventory availability by size here. And then within admin, underneath inventory settings, these are where you can manage your preferences for your buyers at any time. So a couple of other options here, you can display low and maximum inventory counts to buyers. Meaning, if you have minimal inventory on hand and you don't want your buyers to see how little you have in stock, you can set the lowest number of units available that the buyer will see. And the same goes if you've got a lot of inventory on hand and you don't want your buyers to know how many units you've actually got in stock, you can set the highest level of inventory that your buyers will see as available. Other inventory settings you can update for buyers at any time 
include hiding the deliveries filter in the product gallery, which is most useful for brands that track inventory but don't have these preset deliveries. And you can automatically hide products with no available inventory from your buyers. Lastly, New Order will allow you to set up multiple warehouses for inventory. You can specify stock levels for each warehouse and assign each customer to a specific warehouse. So when a buyer logs in here, for example, they'll be limited to the stock available for that specific warehouse. The next piece of the buyer side that we'll walk through is the orders tab. So you'll want to keep in mind that the brand's preferences dictate how the orders tab is used for buyers. For example, some brands will not update the orders tab throughout the entire ordering process. Most, but not all brands, will utilize the orders tab like this. So within each order status, and I'll drill down here, the first status that you've got here is draft. So draft tab is the unofficial or your unofficial in progress orders. Draft orders can be edited, resaved, deleted, or submitted as official orders. If a rep sends a buyer a draft order, it will also show up here for buyers to take a look, and buyers can save their own draft orders here as well. The easy order status, or the easy order, is a convenient way for reps to send curated order forms to their buyers. The buyers simply need to fill in quantities and submit the order, and easy orders will remain in this tab until they're submitted by the buyer. The in review tab are orders that a buyer has placed themselves. Buyers can edit these orders, and the order will stay in review until it's approved by the brand. Once a sales rep has reviewed the buyer's order, they can approve it. Pending are orders placed by a sales rep that have not yet been approved. So sales reps can always edit the order while it's living here in pending. Approved are orders that have been approved and are ready for processing. While orders are in approved, um, waiting to be processed, the buyer can view them here, but they can no longer be edited by the buyer. Processed are orders that have been processed by the brand's customer service team. So this usually means that it has been entered in the brand's back office system, and buyers will be able to view these processed orders if a brand is managing their orders in this way. Shipped are orders that have been shipped. Some brands like to use a status level, while other brands stop at process. So again, based on how you guys as a as a brand are managing your orders tab and your order workflow here, it will vary, it will change the buyer's perspective. So some brands will stop at process, other brands are utilizing the ship tab. And lastly, this canceled status here are orders that have been canceled. These orders are locked and cannot be deleted by anyone, so not the rep, not the buyer, and orders will remain in canceled for both the buyer's and the rep's reference. So just like brand users, buyers, organi buyers' orders are organized by status here on the left-hand side. Buyers can also utilize the additional filters here on the left-hand side. So if a buyer is working with multiple currencies, they can switch between them. If a buyer um, wants to choose a company they'd like to order from, they can utilize this filter, this company's filter here. They can choose a specific sales rep that they're looking for. And then a buyer can also choose their date. So they can choose between all dates, order date, the order modified date, the start, start ship date, as well as the end ship date. Similar to reps, buyers can also search for their past orders using the search bar here. And then the buyer will have different options by order. So if you hover over the order here and click these three little buttons, 
you'll see when applicable, the buyer will have different icons to either delete the order, copy the order, download the order as an Excel, download the order as a PDF, or open the order to edit it. Before we move on to the buyer marketplace, I do want to show you how buyers can submit their reorders. This is a huge reason why our brands utilize new order to increase their reorders. So it's super simple and straightforward for buyers, and they have the option to easily copy an existing order and reorder. So from the orders tab, a buyer can easily click this little square icon to reorder, or can click these three little dots and select reorder by order. All they need to do is submit this order, so it'll reopen and copy the order into the working order, and they'll submit it just like they would any order. So in one click, buyers can easily reorder from this tab. So next, we'll jump into the buyer marketplace. The new order marketplace is a two-way discovery channel where buyers can request access to shop brands on new order and brands can find and contact buyers. So just as brands have the ability to filter through retailers on new order, retailers can use new order to find new accounts. So you'll just navigate or buyers will navigate to this discover new brand section within their portal. Once in the discover new brand section, the buyer will be prompted to enter their company information. So this information will be submitted for review to the new order marketplace. Here in Discover New Brands, you'll notice that buyers can type a brand name into the search bar here, and results will populate over to the right. By clicking on a brand, buyers can browse the brand's information as well as request new order access. Buyers will only be able to request access, request new order access once their retail location or company has been accepted into the new order marketplace. You'll also notice that buyers can use the filtering function here on the left to filter by price point, trade show, and category. Clicking into a category, you'll notice the brands in new order, and you can click to browse information. This buyer marketplace contains all the brands on new order who choose to participate. So if you do not, as a brand, if you do not currently have a marketplace profile set up and would like buyers to be able to shop your brand on new order, definitely contact your account manager or our support team. We'll let you know exactly what's needed to get you set up in the marketplace and we'll get you set up right away. So the final part of this webinar will be to review five of our most frequently asked questions on the buyer side of new order. As a reminder, if one of your buyers ever has a question and you're not able to answer, you can always direct your buyers to our dedicated support team for assistance. So one of our, frequent, our first most frequently asked questions from buyers is, why do I have to log in to place orders? Before I explain why buyers have to log into new order, I first want to reiterate the importance of this functionality for you guys as brands on new order. One of the biggest and most impactful benefits from any software system should be time savings. New order will save your brand valuable time by decreasing errors and order changes, eliminating busy work, and simplifying the sales process. So it's more time on your hands and buyers logging in and placing their own orders, you can focus on taking a proactive approach to your sales. So this is why we as account managers are always urging our brands to encourage their buyers to log into their portal and shop. So logging in is often required for buyers and important for a few reasons. One, if a buyer didn't have a login, then anyone could place orders for their stores and you wouldn't want that. Two, logging in provides a record for both the buyer and the brand of all activities that's happening within the portal and all order history. And three, most brands 
don't want just anyone seeing their upcoming products. So access to the portal is granted only to people who need it. So you'll want to make sure to reiterate to your buyer that they're special, that they have the ability to log in and place these orders 24-7 on a new order. So this is definitely a great response to have prepared and to share with your buyers. While they do have the ability to place e easy orders through their email and send Excel order forms, there's still value in logging into the new order. Not to mention, buyers can shop your brand 24-7, 365, reorder quickly and whenever they need to, maintain relationship relationships with their reps, and get personalized recommendations. So there's just as much benefit to buyers logging into the new order portal and submitting orders as there is for brands logging into the new order portal and outreaching their buyers as well. One of our second most frequently asked questions is, can additional users be assigned to my account, i.e. an assistant buyer? So each new order account is intended for only one user. If you log on another com computer, you will be logged out of any other computer. So if a buyer ever reaches out and wants to give their assistant buyer access to new order, tell them to just let their sales rep know so your colleagues can have their own accounts, buyers' colleagues can have their own accounts. Brands can always add other users for the buyer and everyone will be able to log in and simultaneously. The next question here is how can I get access to additional brands on new order? So there are two ways for buyers to get access to new brands on new order. The first way is if you know a brand, if a buyer knows a brand is already on new order, they can easily contact their rep. So they can ask their brand to add them as a buyer so they can log in and shop. Once a buyer is added, they'll get an invite and have access to the brand's portal. The next way a buyer can get access to additional brands on new order is by checking out the marketplace that we've got pulled up on the screen here. Buyers can browse the marketplace to view details on brands who are accepting new account inquiries. And if a buyer wants to shop the brand, they can send a message letting them know that they're interesting interested and the brand will take it from there. Our fourth question here is can I make changes to an order once it has been submitted? Buyers can make changes as long as the order is in in review on the orders tab. Once it has been approved by a sales rep and moved into approved or process, the buyer will have to contact the rep to make any changes. From the in review list, the buyer can easily open their order to edit. Buyers can change products, they can add or remove styles, they can update sizing or quantities, they can edit billing and shipping addresses if they have multiple locations, they can add in a customer PO number, and they can also add or edit the notes on their order. The last question we have here today is, from a buyer, I placed an order, but I haven't received an email. What do I do? First, we always suggest to our buyers to give it a few minutes. If there happens to be a lot of activity on our server, like on a trade show day especially, it can take up to 15 minutes for a system to finish processing the order and send a buyer their confirmation. So if a buyer reaches out that they haven't received an email confirmation, let them know it can take up to 15 minutes. And if the buyer still hasn't received their email, you can always direct them to their spam or junk mail folder, um, ask them to reach out to our support team, or request that they add hello at neworder.com to their address book, or allow them or allow the email to ensure that they're receiving all of these emails. So that covers it from the buyer side of new order. I hope that was helpful and you got to see a little bit, um, have more insight on the buyer side of new order. If you do have any additional questions or frequently asked questions from your buyers that you need assistance in answering, definitely feel free to reach out to your account managers or our team at heroes at neworder.com. Thanks, guys.